is estimated that tens of thousands of people across the globe are either killed or injured by snakes each calendar year. There's a reason that snakes often have a bad label. Some folks are simply scared of them, and to a degree that fear is justified, especially if you're unfamiliar with snakes and just assume that every single one is dangerous. When it comes to snake bites and the reasons why snakes bite humans, it really all comes down to two core issues, provocation of multiple varieties and mistaking the human hand for food. Snakes don't just bite for the heck of it. They want to bite you just about as much as you want to be bitten. They don't want to quote unquote waste a bite unless their life is at stake. It is their last resort. Being responsible in every aspect can potentially save you from injury. Always be mindful of your surroundings in the wild and especially mindful when you are handling a snake. Let's take a look at seven reasons why both captive and wild snakes will bite a human. The first reason why a snake will bite a human is out of fear of being unable to escape. A good example would be any situation where a snake feels cornered in some fashion. This could be in a holding situation or in a literal cornered state. If a snake doesn't really have an exit route and feels threatened, it will bite. If hissing, flailing around, and a few faux strikes have already been exhausted, the real thing is likely to come out next. This is why it's always critical to give a snake an out. Don't make them feel boxed in. When a snake feels it's at your mercy, bad things can happen. The next concern we'll discuss is provocation. As mentioned in our introduction, provocation is one of the two biggest reasons as to why a snake will bite. Provocation can be unintentional or intentional. Because a snake doesn't know your true intentions, it won't really wait to find out if it becomes fearful for its life. More than half of all snake bites occur when a person is either trying to capture it or kill it. While pet snakes can bite, the overwhelming bulk of bites occur in nature. The best way to avoid a bite in the wild is to simply leave the snake alone. Snakes want nothing to do with people. If you keep your distance, they'll keep theirs. The third concern on our list is overconfident handling. Unfortunately, this is a common issue. Just because you have a lot of hands-on experience, even years, never assume anything. You should always be respectful and responsible. Never feel like you're too qualified to take a moment off. Put your skills to use. Never get too brash and too bold. This is critically true when dealing with snakes in the wild. Just because you're a pro doesn't mean the snake knows you any more than it knows the man on the moon. If you approach a snake in the wild, the snake could view you as an immediate threat. This can result in a bite. Concern number four deals with an issue that most everyone will encounter at some point in their life, especially if you live in certain environments, the random or accidental encounter with a snake. This can include your backyard, a picnic area, a wooded area, an old country church, you name it. Countless people have stories to share about the time they seemingly tripped over a snake, avoided a bite, jumped over a snake, etc. They didn't mean to cause an issue, they were just caught off guard and in the wrong place at the wrong time. Because snakes have the ability to camouflage themselves in grassy areas to avoid predators, an accidental encounter happens all the time. Here are a few ways to avoid potential danger. Walk on clear trails rather than in tall grass. Look at the path in front of you. This way you won't encounter a snake at a second's notice. You'll be able to spot it in advance. Keep your ears wide open. Pay attention to your surroundings. If you hear some rustling, hissing, any type of sound that seems a bit off, turn around. Our fifth concern involves mistaken identity. Your snake confusing you for a meal. Snakes know when it's feeding time based on common associations. A hand in the cage often equates to feeding time, more specifically, the arrival of food. The next time you open your cage, be mindful of your hand placement. Snakes don't have the best vision, but they can certainly smell. If the smell of food is on you, your snake might not know the difference. The warmth of your hand can also be confused with the warmth of a meal. Washing your hands prior to feeding and or removing your snake from its enclosure to another cage before feeding are both positive options. By moving your snake, your pet will associate moving with food, rather than your hand entering the cage. The sixth reason as to why snakes bite is often the result of unfamiliarity. 
The snake is simply not used to humans. While this often occurs in the wild, it can also occur at home with your new pet snake. As a means to avoid an issue at home, place your snake's enclosure in an area that your family frequents often. Allow your snake to see you, hear you, and take in your scent. Over time, your snake will get used to your presence and no longer view you and your family as a threat. Be sure to handle your snake a few times a week. As the weeks and months pass, this will become routine. Your snake will develop trust. Developing this positive relationship is critical for both you and the snake. The snake won't fear you, and you don't have to be on high alert and fearful of a bite. Our final concern, issue number seven, is quite a sad one. Some snakes have a tendency to bite humans due to neglect. If a pet snake is not treated properly, it will develop stress, fear, and great distrust. It will view everyone as an enemy. This can result in aggressive behavior. If a snake's living space has inadequate temperature and humidity settings and is generally uncomfortable in all aspects, this will only add to the tension. Lack of food can make matters even worse. If everything has gone off the rails, then a snake can essentially become a monster. It then becomes a battle between the snake and its owner. Here at SnakesForPets.com, we have a wealth of material discussing the proper care of specific snakes and all of their needs. We've left no stone unturned. If you're in the market to purchase a snake, you can potentially avoid this awful issue by being fully prepared. In the same way that you would care for any living creature, it's vital that you're able to take on this responsibility of ownership. If you have any questions in respect to this specific issue, please contact us or enter your desired keywords in our search bar at snakesforpets.com. We thank you so much. And on that note, that will conclude things for the video portion of this topic. If you'd like to know more on this subject, please visit us at the aforementioned snakesforpets.com. There you will find an in-depth article on this topic, The Reasons Why Snakes Bite People. If you're currently viewing this video off-site, please click the initial link in the description box below that is available to you. Said link will take you to the article. We hope you find it informative. And until our paths cross again, we wish you a wonderful day, all the best to you and yours, and we'll talk to you later.